We're here today to break down the differences between preferred stock and common stock. Welcome to Accounting How To. I'm your host, Carolyn Grimm, and my sidekick, Terrence, and I are here to put the fun in accounting fundamentals. When a corporation authorizes stock, it assigns it to a class of stock. It's either going to be preferred or common stock. The two types of stocks have different qualities and different rights. So let's talk about some of those differences. So preferred stock always has first dibs on any dividend that the company declares. So common stock will only receive dividends if there is anything left after preferred stock gets their share. Now preferred stock receives a set amount of dividends while common stock receives the remainder. So for example, if preferred stock is getting $10,000 in dividends and total dividends are $50,000, preferred will never get more than $10,000 and the rest of it will go to common stock. Now there's a specific kind of preferred stock called cumulative stock. If preferred stock is cumulative, it will always get its dividends, even if it takes more than one year. This means that there may be less for common stock dividends if previous year's preferred dividends still need to be paid out. So if preferred is supposed to get $10,000 this year and there's only $8,000 in dividends available, that means next year preferred will get $10,000 plus the $2,000 that they didn't get in this current year. Now preferred stock does not have voting rights, but common stock does. That means that holders of common stock can elect the board of directors and preferred stockholders cannot. Now because preferred stock has a fixed return, a fixed dividend that they're due every year, preferred stock may have a higher market value than common because of that. It may be perceived as more valuable. So that gives you the broad picture of preferred versus common stock. But if you're taking an accounting class and you're working through those complicated stock transactions and all those journal entries, you'll want to jump over to our website because we have done your homework for you. We go step by step through typical homework problems and show you exactly the journal entries you'll need to be making for those entries. I'll put a link to the website in the description, but it's really easy to find. It's accountinghowto.com. Until next time, stay balanced, my friends.